All set? I'm curious about what your questions are going to be. This could be entertaining. So, Tim Chisholm, back here again uh, at the British Open. What is it about this event that keeps bringing you back? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a great event. You know, it's one of the premier ones on, on, the, on the tour. Um, last year was just doubles only for me. And uh, my wife is wondering why I'm here for singles. But, uh, you know, we'll see. So how's your preparation been uh, for, for this one? How's the hitting, hitting going? Um, it's fine. I mean, I've had double knee replacements, so this is the first time since I had both replaced that the knees don't hurt. You know, I feel a little bit more comfortable going in and out of the corners. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Time will tell. I've been, you know, told by a handful of folks that have been in the game for a while that uh, my results will determine whether they're going to let me play singles again in the future. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so you don't play as much singles as you used to, so you're coming in unseated. You need to go play a, a first round match against John Woods Casey. Uh, what is your approach going to be going into that match? Um, I mean, just like any other match, whether it's John Woods, Casey, um, you know, a, a local member at home, or Camden on the other side of the net, you know, it's, it's the same kind of approach. We're keeping score. You know, I think all the boys would say, I'm, you know, uh, you're keeping score, so you want a W. Um, you know, I've done some preparation. Having Max Truman in tuxedo has been fantastic. A youngster, you know, running me around, it's got me, you know, reinvigorated a little bit. Both Max and my son Dawson have uh, kind of put the gauntlet down a little bit of, okay, Dad, you're, you got two new knees, you got no excuses now, nothing hurts. Let's have one more go and see if you can play some singles. So this will be a good test to see whether I can still play singles. Do you still feel like you've got anything to prove, or is it no. about having fun out there? No, it's having fun. I mean, I think you've seen Cam and I play enough together. We have a blast playing doubles together. You know, we've had a pretty good run. Um, we're good buddies. We have fun on court. You know, typically we would play against each other this year in the British because we alternate every other year. Um, but our usual partners, Bryn, just obviously had his hip replaced, and John's going through some visa issues in the states. So um, Cam and I are back together again this year. So, uh, so playing with Cam in the doubles, as you said, um, presumably the target is, is to win the, the whole tournament again. Yep. You know, we've had a pretty good run. We haven't lost since 2013. So. Um, you know, he's actually hoping I can do a little running this time around, so we'll see. Uh, how have you had much of a chance to have a practice with him, or do you just come out in the tournament and just go for it? Don't see, don't see Cam too much. You know, we did a pro-am in, in uh, Tuxedo in June. John and uh, Cam came up. We played, you know, pro-am type thing, hit and giggle a little bit, and we got on court a little and played some Fidel, but yeah, he's moved now from Boston back down to Charleston. So mm -hmm. other than him leading up to probably the World Champs next summer, we won't get on court too much together. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the, the, um, the reuniting of Rob and Steve on the other side of the uh, bracket. Um, does that partnership of being able to play against that partnership again appeal to you? Uh, it's always fun. I mean, I, I was fortunate enough for a number of years to, you know, Rob and I played in the final of every tournament for quite a long time. You know, I didn't win uh, nearly as many as I would have liked. But, you know, you got to play the best guy who's ever played the game, you know, many times. So getting Rob back on court in the doubles is always fun seeing him on the other side of the net. What's it like seeing the guys like Max Truman and um, some of the other young British players coming through now and starting to push on the door? Well, it's not only British players. You know, we got Freddie, you know, who we, we'll claim him because he plays Van Allen for us. You know, and Noah Motes. We've got some Americans that are coming through and, and doing some things as well. But it's nice seeing the youngsters. You know, they still have... There's a number of levels for them to get to before they can actually start pushing some of the, the guys that have been at the top of the game for a while, but we need it. I mean, there's no reason Rob and I should still be playing this game. You know, we're both too old to be still not only playing, but winning some things. Um, when is it going to be that you start to see those young Americans over here and then British? A lot of it depends on school. You know, some of them are still in school. Freddie just got done with school. Eric just got done with school. Barker. Um, Noah works for his dad. You know, I still and think until he gets some good results in the States where it would justify making the trip, I don't think we'll see him over here. You know, and then from a, a money perspective, if any of them do turn pro, the U.S. Open, if they're going to choose between the U.S. and the British, it's a no-brainer when it comes to the money. Uh, uh, and so finally, for you, what's your, the rest of your season looking like? What are you doing? So it'll depend, on, it'll depend on this week. You know, I mean, I, I've had some people set some targets in terms of what I do in singles. If I hit those targets, then I'll have another go at playing. You know, outside of the Aussie, I'll probably play everything singles-wise. If I don't hit those targets, um, I've been told nobody will let me enter singles. So we'll see. And then the doubles, Cam and I will keep playing until we lose. So we've got Morton Morrow in spring of 2026, I think. So we'll see if I can keep the body in, you know, in place by then.
Thanks.